to the wind, just kind of tossing around a little bit. It is cold. trying I've got it in position hold right now but you know check see what these wind gusts are here shortly I mean it's, a, it's doing surprisingly pretty well fingers are getting numb. You can see the angle of the copter right now. It's taken against the wind. <laughs> That's pretty good though. It's working. It's working. Maintaining that position. This thing's got some power though. That is a four cell, six amp battery pack. That's good position hold. See the trees. The wind's just kind of gusting from from the west and southwest, a little bit from the northwest or west northwest. Ooh. Yawed around a little bit. Got it facing it to the wind right now. <sighs> I 
it's giving about a three to four meter area or radius right now. You know, and gentle brand, gentle we excuse me, I can't even tell it's cold. Gentle breezes, light winds, this thing should be it should be well within a meter for positioning. It's nice. It's nice and quiet. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look how still. There's no wind right now. Put a gimbal on that thing. A little more weight. Get an awesome rig. Like I said, this is a Sync Zap pack and I've been running it for... Let's see. I've stopped the video a couple of times for about a good 10, 15 minutes, oh, about 10, 12 minutes, I guess, flying. flying machine. Alright, I'm going to take it out of position hold. I've been in position hold for several minutes now. See it out there. And super smooth. Super smooth. Oh, there's a the battery. Let's bring her back. That's the beauty about these coaxials. These things are a lot smoother on the sticks as opposed to copters that have all the blades on one horizontal plane. The increase in those gyroscopic forces help it to resist outside forces a lot better.